Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rex TV today. We're going to talk about an issue that has been making headlines in Zimbabwean politics. The fact that Nelson Chamisa does not have a political party. Many believe that this is due to undemocratic and dictatorial tendencies within Chamisa's leadership. The international community has been quick to criticize Chamisa, saying that they see a clueless, ideologically and strategically empty individual in him. They argue that if Chamisa cannot lead a political party, how can he be expected to lead the nation? These are certainly valid concerns and they raise serious questions about Chamisa's ability to govern effectively. Some have even called for fresh elections to be held in 2028, arguing that the international community is sabotaging Chamisa by not allowing him to take power. However, others argue that it is not the international community's fault that Chamisa does not have a political party. Rather, it is a result of his own failings as a leader. It is clear that there is a lack of confidence in Chamisa's leadership abilities, both within Zimbabwe and internationally, without a political party to back him. It is difficult to see how Chamisa can make a credible bid for power. It is clear that he will need to address these concerns if he is to have any hope of leading Zimbabwe in the future. In conclusion, the fact that Chamisa does not have a political party is a result of undemocratic and dictatorial tendencies, as well as a lack of confidence in his leadership abilities. Without a political party, it is difficult to see how Chamisa can lead the nation. The international community's scepticism about Chamisa's leadership only adds to the challenges he faces. It remains to be seen whether he can overcome these obstacles and regain the confidence of both Zimbabwean citizens and the international community. Thank you for watching.